what's up guys this is brandon back over here with everyday minimalist and we yet have another knife review this is going to be the kershaw leak yeah the leak um i've heard really good things about it and i just wanted to kind of check it out and see what it's all about so i was walking through my local shields and they essentially had this on sale for like 40 bucks so i was like oh yeah that's a cheap knife why the hell not so we're gonna check it out and uh, see what our overall impressions, or I guess first impressions are about it. Um, first thing you'll notice is this uh, flipper tab. It is tiny. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that just because of how small it is. It's like half the size of like even the shredder, like just to get, kind of give you guys an example. Shredder is about that small. Yep. This will be my first Kershaw knife. So we'll see how it's uh, built. And um, I know it's made here in the USA, just to kind of give you guys an example of what the box looked like. There you go, or this way. So 16, uh, 1660X is the official, I guess, like part code. And then you've got some basic information. So as you can see, it's gonna be a seven inch blade. You've got a three, or, uh, sorry, not seven, <laughs> seven inch blade, it's seven inches total, as far as the overall length when it's deployed. And then you've got a four inch handle, three inch blade. This thing is gonna be made of 14C28N steel. Don't know what that means just because I haven't really messed around with um, too many of the lower end grade stuff. But um, yeah, let's dive right in and kind of take a look at it a little bit more. So um, yeah, the first thing that kind of pops out at me right here is going to be that pocket clip. Basically, it's going to be poking out really like pretty far. That's sitting in your pocket. It's not very discreet. So there's gonna be about like that much of the blade that's gonna be poking out of your pocket. So people will know that you have it, but luckily this this specific um, knife isn't gonna be uh, like really, I guess, scary in that sense, just because of how like minimal it is. It doesn't have a ton of like really popping features to make it kind of stand out. So if you wanna be low key in the office, um, here you go. Anyways, um, next to the pocket clip, you do have this safety which is good because this thing flips out so fast, guys. It's like unbelievable. It is an assisted um, knife, so or I guess auto-assisted. So just to kind of give you guys an example, it's super fast. As you can tell, I've been like cutting some papers, to kind of test out this um, actual blade and see if it's any good in comparison to that shredder. Oh my God, guys. The shredder is still top 10 as far as um, how well it cuts. Um, however, you know, the reason why I thought it was going to be really good is because of the blade stock. Look how thin that guy is. And then let's pull out the shredder again. Just kind of give you guys an example of the actual stock. It's probably on par with the shredder, which that's kind of impressive. I mean, this thing is like insanely thin. But um, yeah, so this is going to be a Ken Onion design. Um, I think he's based out of, I have no idea actually. I don't know too much about Kershaw. So, I mean, if you guys know a little bit more, just uh, put it down in the comments. You do get this, uh, I guess the thumb tab there and it kind of protrudes. I haven't used it like that, let's see. Okay, <laughs> that works. And you can one hand close it. You know, I don't really own a ton of auto assisted knives. So um, we'll just have to put this one through the paces. Yeah, I think we're gonna enjoy it. Um, yeah, there's not much more to say about the knife itself besides that it's like pretty basic and uh, we'll carry it around and see how it works. So next week guys, um, we will be getting a few more knives if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and just comment below. Let me know what knife I should pick up next. There's a bunch of them. I mean, um, you know, it could be Benchmade, Spyroco, just name off a brand or something that you guys want to see. If there's no review video on YouTube about it yet, I'll be happy to pick up that knife and actually review it for you guys. Get you guys all that sexy B-roll and uh, just make an awesome review. Anyways, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. If you guys want more content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Of course, hit that bell icon so you guys can see the next video that releases and then hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll catch you later. Peace out.